year we have brought out carol Winsents and we have all sorts of flute choirs and workshops and lectures, concerts, and it's been just loads of fun. Five days of fun-filled flute music. What I love so much is the non-competitive nature of all this, that it has attracted flutists of all levels and I think what's possible is the feeling of permission so that people can enter at the level in which they play and find some aspect that they can work on and improve and that's a, a very special and beautiful thing. I started the San Francisco Flute Society in 2010 and I presented a festival I decided to embark on Flutes by the Sea Masterclass. This is a five day intensive program where flutists can come from wherever they're from. Those are the performers. We also have auditor participants who also have come from around the country and locally as well. I live in this beautiful town called Half Moon Bay. It's just 40 miles south of San Francisco. We're right on the ocean. It's a gorgeous destination. And I just thought, why not mix flutes and the ocean and just make something magical? Because the flute, if you think about it, is a magical instrument. Uh, Krishna played the flute. It's kind of like the goddess instrument. It's the music of the angels. It's, it's, it's just magic. A typical day at Flutes by the Sea Masterclass is we start with a 9 a.m. meditation class right on the ocean in this beautiful house that just, you're like in the ocean. It's just magnificent. I've been teaching the classes from 10 to 12, and then there are Flutes by the Sea flute choir that gets together. This is, consists of all the auditor participants. And then we have a lunch break. Carol Winsons has been teaching the two to four class. And then we have the exhibitor lecture. Now that's usually a um, business of music sort of lecture, so you get to know not only technique, flute technique, but also a little bit about how to promote yourself as a musician, how to actually earn a living as a musician. We have a dinner break, and then every evening at seven o'clock, we've been presenting concerts. Last night, we had a Fluter Scooter and Barbara Cecil. Last night was the Flute Stars, and tonight I'm gonna to be playing, I'm gonna be showing flutes from around the world as well, and the music of South America. And then tomorrow night, we have Carol Winsens playing the traditional flute repertoire. Every night we've had at least one, two, or even three flute choirs from the Bay Area. They've opened up every concert and so it's brought in from eight-year-olds up to 88-year-olds. <laughs> A whole mix of players from the Bay Area. Some of our established flute choirs have been playing together for many, many years and have consistent rehearsals once a week. It's been the whole span of flute choirs. Tonight we have another group. This is the under 10 flute players. <laughs> because and I really love the sound and the look of the flute, so I've been playing it ever since. <laughs> so one time I heard my cousin playing the flute at a concert, and I thought it's really pretty. My mother and sister. Because I thought it was fun. When I was nine years old, I thought the flute players were really pretty and cute, and I loved the way they dressed, and I loved the way their instruments looked, and I liked the way they sounded. I chose to play the flute because I mastered the flutophone and I needed something more challenging. And then also my mom bought me a James Galway Celtic CD. My dad wanted me, me and my sister to play it and it seemed like the easiest out of like all the other stuff that you can play. I chose the flute because I'm lazy. I didn't want to lug a big instrument around and the flute was really light. The logical instrument after the recorder was the flute and I've been playing the flute ever since. I thought, well, flute is a wonderful instrument. But now my mother is taking credit for that. She says that she chose it for me. I first started playing the piano, but I kept insisting to my parents, I want a flute. They gave me an accordion. I said, I want a flute. Then they gave me a clarinet. I was like, no, I want a flute. 
I've always just thought that the flute was just a beautiful instrument and it was practical, it's lightweight. I, can, I knew, I just knew that I was going to be traveling around the world and after performing in 120 countries, I'm really glad I chose the flute. <laughs>